Good morning, Seychelles. Hello. This is Sarenta Luther and Marina Shamova with you again. Today we talk about fetal alcohol syndrome, which is quite a massive problem in any society where society is cons consuming alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. So Miss Sarenta is neuropsychological specialist who can enlighten us about some developmental issues which some uh, children can have and syndrome which is not massively recognizable in Seychelles. Let's listen about that. So what is fetal alcohol syndrome is? Hi everyone. Um, so nice to see you guys again or for you to see me again. <laughs> um, so Fetal alcohol syndrome is basically a type of disorder. Um, it's a spectrum of disorder, just like autism. Mm -hmm. And it happens um, to children who's been exposed to alcohol in the womb, like in the belly when their parents were pregnant. So the mother was drinking while the child was still in the belly. And then during the development of the belly, the, the child in the belly, um, they start developing the syndrome because the fetus gets affected by the alcohol, mm -hmm. which goes directly to and so it affects them. It's an intoxication which affects yes. the nervous system and development, embryonal development of a child, right? Uh -huh. Aha. Yes. Uh, tell us, please, any of important things about the topic. Like, is it possible to prevent it somehow? Well, the obvious way to prevent it, <laughs> yeah. that's obvious, right? So, yeah, I mean, the obvious way to prevent it is not to drink during pregnancy. That's why your doctor, um, as, a, to as, as a woman who have children, you know that your doctor always tells you not to drink during pregnancy. You can only drink maybe one glass of wine during the first, maybe the first trimester, but mm -hmm. after that, not supposed to drink and that's the reason because your baby will be affected by this it's very important mm -hmm. maybe you can even mention in what period of pregnancy uh it's more vulnerable <clears throat> to such type of intoxication and embryonal uh, well, genesis uh -huh. yeah usually it's with um the last few um the well the first trimester so the first few months and then um, the last few months are mostly affected because the first few months, the baby's um, brain is developing. So up to like zero to six months of uh, the trimester, the baby's brain is, is already, at, by six months, the baby's brain is already fully developed. So that first few months, it's very crucial because the baby's brain is being made, is being stitched together. You think about it like it's being stitched mm -hmm. together is penetrating those stitches if you get what i'm trying the way i'm explaining it uh -huh. so then that really affects the baby's brain mm -hmm. our dear audience please write in comments below this video what do you think about it and uh, your opinions your experiences have you ever met uh, this syndrome in your life or people who had it have you ever met pregnant women who are drinking? And uh, any of your comments would be highly appreciated. Uh -huh. yeah. Very interesting. So it, it affects brain neuroplasticity, obviously. Yeah. Right? During the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, which is the most vulnerable, sensitive period for future human being yeah. the most Very important in ontogenesis in individual uh, development okay um i wanted to show you maybe i don't know if this is going to be too visual please mm -hmm. it might be a bit try i think we need to see this because yes, we need to know the process of this mm -hmm. so let me share my screen a little bit so share this so this is um this is what you're seeing right now this is what a child's brain with fetal alcohol syndrome looks like it already shows you 
what a normal child brain looks like and what a child with fetal alcohol syndrome looks like when they're um, um when they're still a baby. Can terrible difference. But this is really mm -hmm. what is the impact of it on the child is already by just looking at the brain and how small shrink and deform the brain is is at this point and they're still small children mm -hmm. so we can imagine that even if child doesn't have fetal alcohol syndrome but still any toxic impact on brain might change even its uh, morphology right yeah. uh -huh. Okay, thank you. So anything else you would maybe advise to our audience, to our social white people who need to receive some information and maybe in Creole language, by the way, for those who are more likely. Mm -hmm. Well, as, uh, mm -hmm. I would say in Creole, um, comment un spécialiste de sa domaine, mon zoin est que ces enfants qui actually um dit mon indi qui fa zot capable di ah mon enfant yotisme et mon enfant et comme si mon enfant pas peut développer normal mon enfant pas peut développer bien ou capable voir lot of the time qui sa enfant il actually pas autisme sa enfant il capable des enfants qui non fit alcohol syndrome mon actually zoin dit mon mon actually zoin non des enfants qui clearly you can see par cause de fit alcohol syndrome tout ou pour voir qui zot and a bunch of information of the figures of figures, but if we tip tea, but if we narrow, so a popo waki fast and a mental retardation key, so paka pub cause bien, or waki zutu papu cap. But you don't have pictures to show, no? Uh, I have a picture, maybe it might be useful. Uh huh, would be good and if, if it's possible, though. If you have some picture, this is this uh -huh. is not clear, but. It, it could look like this, but some children with fetal alcohol syndrome, they might not, how can you say, they might not display these things, but this is a typical thing you can see in children with fetal alcohol syndrome. So you see skin folds in the corner of their eyes here. You can see that their nose are a bit, the nasal bridge is a bit low, so it's low to the mouth, they have a very short nose. Um, you can see the lip even is different. They have a small head. That is a very big, very, very, very big significant um, look. A very significant thing you should you will see is the small head. Mm -hmm. Very sad. So yeah. the 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 profile this the this syndrome profile is quite expressive. It's visible. You can even recognize it, or you can yeah. suspect that uh, this child has the consequences of alcohol consumption by his mom during yes. the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely see on the face. That's a remarkable uh, um, adding for our today's conversation. Okay, so uh, your sound disappeared. My what? I don't hear you. Sorry. Yeah, now I can hear you. It's a sound because today, dear audience, we have some struggles with internet connection from very known local broadcasting company. <laughs> I would not point fingers because none of them are working properly according to normal world standards. So it's not fair to mention only one. Then. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Miss Renta. Maybe something else you would add to what we were talking today about. Um, and I'm going to say this in Creole again. My parents, it, oh, my parents and mama, you have responsibility for for care of your children. Not just if they are children for inne, but they are children for your court, your court, your court, and your belly. As a mama, you have responsibility for for make sure children for you can have a fulfilling life and. A, a, not a lot of ways professor is to even start before they are born please avoid drinking because in a lot of ways intellectually um educationally 
il pas avec tes mains il look and how il pour une bonne relation pour être avec les autres jimou so il veut mais pas tant qu'il nous nous quitte ça c'est et et nous qui qui nous nous really i know nine months is a long time to drink but it really big impact on your child so mo pou always just uh, just think about the child first in terms of these kind of things and how this can really really affect your child and isn't it in your opinion isn't it difficult to realize such simple basic things which are actually it's a mother instinct women usually normally understand and they have that specific care about future child already initially like normal response to to knowledge that you are most probably pregnant is to avoid immediately any potential harm any potential poison negativity situ- harmful situations potentially dangerous or whatever so what do, let's maybe elaborate a little bit more about that what women usually have still that consistency to drink to consume any type of psychoactive uh, substances even during pregnancy when they are not only responsible for for little child too for future life for future child but they also do have that supposed to have that instinct which usually stops us to do such terrible things yes what yes. kind of conditions do they have you think Well, I can presume some, but maybe, what, what do you think about that? Sometimes it can be a condition and sometimes it can be um, cultural perception. Mm-hmm. Was, uh, something that I noticed is that um, sometimes people would say, ah, but I drank when I was pregnant with my child and my child is fine. I smoked when I was pregnant with my child and my child is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, marijuana when I was pregnant with my child my child is fine but that's not that that's not an excuse and plus your child might not be fine <laughs> just because it looks fine are you sure outside. that your child is fine after that yes there's that with such type of investments in his or her nervous system foundation mm-hmm. because yeah. intoxication is still intoxication no matter it's mathematics no matter what you prefer to self deceive like to deceive yourself with calming your consciousness and so on sooner or later consequences will be there but long term consequences of intoxicate embryonal intoxications are much more stable and much more much less curable as we know from science right yeah so yeah. it's matter of self consciousness or self consciousness <laughs> empathy to this poor child which is inside your belly and about general level of education too right of yes level of understanding and long knowledge about simple simple basic things not only unfortunately not only instinct and mental health status because a lot of future mothers they have mental health conditions too i uh, initial addictions yeah uh, mental health serious diseases and else lack of knowledge when you are not in specific condition when you are mentally okay and you are reasonable enough rationally thinking why can you do such things that's what i wonder and not only me all doctors all specialists we know right like no matter how you are explaining how many times and how hard you try there are still women who will do that obviously and that's yeah. interesting to to research on their drives and motivation of such type of behavior okay Thank you so much for today's conversation. It was really interesting, especially yeah. for me. I would emphasize on, on neuroplasticity, which takes primary place and primary importance during embryonal development when your child is in your belly, especially the very first time. You should avoid avoid any type of intoxications, 
and particularly the alcohol might have such type of effect as fetal alcohol syndrome. Thank you so much. Let's talk about something interesting again next time. Yes, I'm so happy to talk on this. Um, and yeah, definitely, um, when it comes to brain development of children, I am here to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you a lot again. And please, dear audience, especially social white people who are watching us, please ask your questions, order new videos. We will prepare something informational scientifically proven interesting and very helpful for you thank you and bye bye, bye.